It's loud. It kicked me off loud. It kicked me off. Hey, my babies. Just second camera. Come on in the room. I said, come on in the room. Jesus is my doctor. And he writes down all of my scriptures. And he gives me all of my medicine in my room. Oh, come on in the room. I said, come on in the room. Jesus is my doctor, and he writes down all of my scriptures, and he gives me all of my medicine in my room. Hey, my babies, come on in. Come on in. Come on in, my babies. Come on in. Hey, Terrence, my baby. How you doing, sweetie? How you doing? All right, um, not going to be for you long. I know I've been coming to you guys, to my babies, a lot late, but I've been trying to get moved and get situated. Um, probably next week, we're probably going to get back more to um, a more current schedule, but I just had to come to you tonight. Um, I hope all my babies had a wonderful day. I hope um, you're walking in your truth. I hope you're following your dreams. I hope you're speaking your truths. I hope you're not letting anybody or society tear you down or tell you what you should or should not be or who you should or should not be. If your pronouns or how you identify as or, or um, she, her, and hers, that's how you should be identified as. If your pronouns are he, him, and his, that's how she should be identified as. If your pronouns are they, them, that's how you should be identified as because it is your life and the way you identify is simply your choice. All right, my baby, it's not going to be for you long. Let's go ahead and jump to today's show. Um, what really was on my mind at night was the fact that I'm just getting so sick and tired of all the homophobia and all the transphobia from um, celebrities, especially especially black celebrities. Um, as we know, Lil Mama and RZA from the Nation of Islam were basically um, having an interview, and basically they were just talking about um, things that need to happen. And for me, first of all, Lil Mama has... Mama, mama I, I, I need to tell you this. When it comes to Lil Mama, do not be surprised at anything she says because this is not her first time saying anything um, transphobic. You know, back when she had a show, way back at the dance show, she said something that was very disrespectful to a trans woman. Um, she also made um, a joke that I remember when, when, when um, it was going around about the no pun, pun intended challenge. So, you know, this is the, the, the transphobia that comes out of her mouth. It doesn't surprise me because Yana Van Zandt said it best when, when she said, when a person shows you who they are, believe them. So I believe her the first time. It didn't take me the second, third, or fourth, fifth time to believe it. I believe her. And when it comes to RZA, uh, all I have to say about that is, why do you always have? LGBTQ people didn't name your mouth. Why is that? I was always taught if you didn't like something, if you didn't care for something, you wouldn't be around it. You 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 wouldn't keep your mouth in it. That's what really shocked me so much. And also, we've seen it also with Lil Bootsy back when he had this thing about, oh, um, the cartoons are turning kids gay. They need to stop putting LGBT plus characters on TV because they're turning the kids gay. Well, if that's the situation, why haven't all the heterosexual or cisgender shows in the past turned um, LGBT, LGBTQIA plus people straight? Because that's all that we've seen. It's just now that LGBTQIA plus people are now getting the representation um, that, they, that we deserve. So how can that be? I'm just so sick and tired of people always... Especially when it comes to the black community, they always want to speak out against the LGBT West community, but they never want to speak about uh, the fact of the lack, lack, the lack of the black father in, in, in the home. They never want to speak about the fact of, um, you know, all, all the kids who, who don't have anything to eat, um, the kids being bullied, um, all these things in nature, the, the, the fact of um, black women being, being suppressed. They never want to talk about all these situations, but they always want to um, come at heart at the LGBT plus community. Why is that? It's, 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 it's just, and the thing about it is, people are saying, well, you can't say nothing nowadays without the LGBTQ plus community being so sensitive. They're not sensitive. 
The problem is, is that now this generation and generation past is now saying, you know what? We're tired. We're fed up with it. We're not going to take it anymore. And you're not going to do what you used to do in the past by shutting us up, um, blocking us off, making us look like we don't exist, making us look like we shouldn't matter, making us look like we're crazy, making us look like we're confused. And then, no, it's not going to happen anymore. It's over. Period and done with. LGBT plus people, all LGBT plus people deserve respect, deserve to be heard, deserve to let their voices be amplified because we are people. We are human beings. I don't know where people get out on this planet to where just because somebody is a member of the LGBT plus community, they're not a human being. They don't deserve respect. Their, their opinions and their, and, and their voices don't matter. Where did you come up with that concept of that lie? Because it is so, so untrue. And whoever created that, <laughs> whoever, whoever has that mindset, believe me, you can come off with it, okay? My babies, I love each and every one of you so much, okay? But the transphobia and the homophobia has to stop. It must stop. It needs to stop, okay? I love each and every one of y'all so much. But let's stop, okay? Black trans lives matter. Black trans women lives matter. And my LGBT plus family, I love you with all my heart. Good night, my babies. See you later. Bye.